Oh, oh, man. There was a loud crashing sound, and then there was a pause for about a split second, and then there was like a scream or two, and then everyone just ran. Everybody, there was mass chaos. Uh, the smoke, the black smoke, and fire. Hi, and there are indications that it may have been a Boeing 767 out of seconds and then it was like this pause and then boom hit with all the dust and it was black I mean pitch black I don't know if anybody could have survived being on the street at that time you can see the black smoke billowing out of the side of the Pentagon it continues to billow out and cover much of the skyline here along the area, drifting along the, along the Potomac River, uh, casting a haze all over the Pentagon area. It didn't look like there was a plane at all. It was just obliterated when it hit the ground. He told me he was putting a plan together that he and others were going to take back the airplane. And he said, you know, Dina, I think we can do it. It's up to us. <laughs> And we will uh, strive now very hard to save as many people as possible and to send a message that the city of New York and the United States of America is much stronger than any group of barbaric terrorists. All of the suspects right now that I know that the U.S. is looking at are in the Middle East. And uh, frankly, we uh, have to put Osama bin Laden at the top of the list. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. We've got to do something now and do it immediately. I mean, I, we're entitled to some semblance of security, some semblance of rationality, and I think that all died in New York. I've been in the city for years, and uh, I've never heard it as silent and as sad as I've heard it tonight. This city is in shock, and uh, unless you're here tonight, you don't quite comprehend it.